the message I want to bring this morning is that God is still in control. And this is Bishop Turner coming to you from Chicago, Illinois, overlooking the lake. What's been going on in our country, in our world? It's a need of men and women to come together to talk to God. And as I come together today, this morning, of this evening, it might be, in 2016, 2017, it, the forces of God have taken over. I want to give my prophecy for 2016 of the earthquake, the earthquake in California, one in the Midwest, there's one down in Oklahoma, in that region. Tornadoes back to back, that's going to be happening in 2016. But what we found out in 2016, tornadoes went back to back. But also what I want to prop out is a, a gathering of people coming together. And I want to say the the wicked people, the evil people have been running this country. That's what I mean, the deaths back to back, the mass murder in Chicago, in Detroit, California, uh, Los Angeles, Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana. It's something that when you got a thousand, when you got a hundred people killed in New Orleans, small it might be, and you got 50 people in Chicago shot over the weekend, and down in Orlando, Florida, you have 50 people shot by one lone gunman. Something is wrong with that picture. Law enforcement got to step up and do a better job. But we as citizens got to understand the problem. The politicians, and this is a political problem. Anytime a man can't work, or a woman can't work, they're uh, they're down to nothing. Anytime a government will come to the aid of a citizen, citizen killing citizen. If it's Mississippi, Arkansas, Chicago, Detroit, anywhere, Los Angeles, Denver, Colorado. North Dakota, South Dakota, wherever it's happening, it's got to have a stop to it. I want to say the solution this morning to the violence is let the young men have jobs and let the Congress and the Senate and the major mayors and governors of these cities step in <coughs> and put a, 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 put a ban on guns. Let people get a background check let them see if they're being able to have a gun, they have any kind of record, they don't need no gun. But more so than that, we need to take charge of our government, what a government can do with us. If, if, if I'm a gun factor, need to be licensed, they need to know where the gun's going, where the gun's coming to, and it, it needs to be a ban on factory making certain guns. If they're making guns for war, that's different. But if you're making guns for just to get in the community population, nobody need a machine gun uh, to hunt a rabbit. Nobody need a machine gun to hunt anything. So what I'm saying tonight, what I'm saying today, that we need more uh, laws and all this to deal with the rapid gunfire that's going on in our city night after night. Mothers being killed, children being killed, stop the killing and save the baby. And it's not just one organization, uh, the colleges, the universities, the schools, the churches, mass shooting in churches, mass shooting in theater, mass shooting in nightclub, mass shooting all over the country. What we must, must do to stop the mass shooting of our people is that we must come together and fight this type of violence that's going on in America. The richest country in the world, but the most wicked country in the world. Now, I want to deal with hate crimes, mass destruction, and we must come to the realization we must do the will of God. And God said, man and woman. Now, if you don't like that, check out with God, what God said. So 
So it's important for every church, every rabbi, every preacher to come forward and open the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to get another one, Mr. Clay. Mm -hmm. So it's important for you to look at what I'm talking about. So open it, the more things can work out for you. When it work, <laughs> when it work for you. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I'm going to stop and pause right here for a coffee break. To continue what I said, if what happened in Orlando, Florida is a tragedy, uh, somebody's not taking care of the business, drop the ball. Anytime a young man come into a gun store and say he want to buy a uh, hundred rounds of ammo and a vest, that's a red flag. Anytime somebody come in and you look at them and they look mental ill, that's a red flag. The FBI or the local enforcement should be called right away. We got to deal with justice for all. We got to deal with no justice, no peace. Under the spirit of Reverend AI Dunlap, Spirit of the name of Sodom, the spirit of uh, Bishop Ford, and in the spirit of uh, Reverend Clark down in Mississippi, Megan Everett, and all of them that fought Martin Luther King, Dr. Evan Napper, and all the people that fought Reverend John Thurston, Reverend Evan Blair, Reverend Charles Cook, Reverend Frank Cook, and Reverend uh, Bishop. Uh, Turner and all the ministers throughout the country that fought uh, for the right of justice. So this morning I come to you wherever you be. Let me let you go to my website. Go to my website, thecdavahamyoursite.com, and click on my homepage and go to my special events. One of our events is going to South Dakota. One of our events is a strong prayer for women. We're getting ready to implement that, uh, and we're getting ready to do it. The Bible's where two or three some of you got enough. In the Dr. Martin King, and in every blog talk radio from 11 to 12, seven days a week. On Mondays, we have Dr. Martin King movement. Tuesday, cross over the ancestors. Wednesday, Bible class. Thursday, all lights matter. Friday, the trillion dollar flow. Sunday, on Monday and Saturday, Dr. Christian from Detroit hosts the whole show about health. And on Sunday, we have 11 to 12 about that. That's Block Talk Radio. And we want you to become involved with us. You can call us at area code 773 629 005. That's 629-005-773. Call me, go to my email. When you go to my email, you can uh, get something done if you go to my email. Let me get it to you again. That's uh, area code 773 629-005. That's uh, Block Talk Radio. You can get me on um, Block Talk. We need to do something special on that. And as we get ready to do that, uh, and we'll get ready to open up that door for that. The con Thank you very much. To continue the violence that's going on across this country, and the, the, over the weekend, 50 people in Chicago was killed. You mind black on black yourself? crime, black black crime, and what happened in New Orleans was 100 people that was killed over the weekend. This is the weekend that things been happening across the country. So the Dr. King movement, along with the Cedar Abraham and other forces, as we come to New York, Chicago, around this country, as we get ready to move into the new millennium. And uh, we see where the, the mayor of these cities is embracing the homosexuals, but they're not embracing the thing. And one of the things I'm saying to you, if the president can come to Miami and come down, he can come to Chicago where 50 
got killed over the weekend here in Chicago and a hundred in New Orleans that was killed black on black crime. So one of the things we're saying, just like Dick Gregory said, the killing, when you give guns to babies, they're going to kill mamas and daddies. This is one of the things that we're talking about in our rally. And one of the things, if we be moving down to New Orleans, Mississippi, we're going to continue to deal with black on black crime. And one of the things that we're going to be doing this month and going into next month as we go to chop the code to bring all the, the Native American people together and also the blacks together. Because what happened, the government lied to us about reparation. They didn't give us 40 acres in the mule. They gave it to the white folk. Mm -hmm. They gave it to the Jews. They gave it to the Italians. They gave it to the Indians. But they didn't give blacks anything. So one of the things that we're going to be moving in, in our rally up in Las Vegas, dealing with the black, the black and black crime, and we got to deal with the reality of of how the gay community have locked out the other community, okay, because of money, because of money. Now, uh, when Dr. King, when Dr. King started the civil rights movement. It didn't have nothing to do with homosexual. It it got to, it had to do with what happened. Okay. I need a change. Uh, I don't have a continue. One more cup. I need another cup. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hmm. Well, one of the things that we're saying on this Father's Day, it's very significant to talk about father because we have a society that have already okay same-sex marriage. So what that means, men's marry men's women marry women. But God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. When you talk about Christianity or Islam, or Judaism, it always a man and a woman for recreation. But because of the uh, the rise in hate and the jealousy of the Bible, men say, and the money that it created, the politicians okayed same sex marriage. What do that really mean? Romans 1 and 26 said, God said, I turn over to rub my mind to do that which is unseemly. What that means, mm. God got you to your own mind, do what you want to do, mm -hmm. and I ain't in it. So whatever happened in Orlando, Chicago, Detroit, California, it's going to keep happening because the, the Supreme Court don't have, don't have the right to make a law. It's a divine law, mean man and woman, it comes from God. God is the lawmaker. Those Supreme Court people have stepped out of their lane. They have moved. They are trying to be God to a rule that already happened. So I want to bring it. The church should be upset. The minister should be upset. The people should be upset. Because I want to ask you one question. What if my mama and my daddy, your mama and your daddy, said, well, we're going to be gay. We wouldn't be him. So it wouldn't be no country. Because it wouldn't be no children. So what evil have taken place in our community is to annihilate the human race. This is, this is not a black issue, not a white issue. This is the straw of the human being on America. And I'm not going to be a part of it. And you, you should not be a part of it. That's one of the things on this Father Day that I want to bring out for those that are listening. Well, what do you do? You stick to what is real. You stick to what's going on. In the spirit of Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, and go back to go back to Martin Luther King, Dr. King, but go back deeper than that. Go back to Egypt, to Amun Ra. Go back to the ancient Kemet. When you can go back that far, you can talk about the survival of man. When you go back to the history of where we come from. Uh, and those new people, you know, we know Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Nick Turner, all of them. But it's deeper than Nick Turner, it's deeper than Martin Luther King. It 
the, the mark of God and even deeper than in. You go back to the creation and that started in Egypt, ancient Egypt. The, the creation of man and the gods. So what I'm saying, because of we refuse to, to find out a history, we are caught up. And we're caught up with European ideas and we're African. You can't do what Europeans do because you do more than them. You are the creator of them. I'm going to leave that alone. But what I want to say to you uh, the day, whatever hour it is, all our prophecy, the fires, the floods, the tornadoes have already came true. And what we told you last year, 2016, is slowly coming true. My prophecy book still available. If you want to get it, you can get it. Call me at uh, 773-629-005 and you call Dr. Christian in Detroit and it will open up that door for you. I want, I want to give a shout out to the members of the House of Prayer down in Monroe and Dr. Charles down in New Orleans and I want to say that all is well. And uh, Dr. Bonnie up in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. And Dr. Bonnie, I'm still coming up there to do that baptism. So I just want you to know, as you look at this tape, you know I'm coming. I just want y'all to get ready for that. Uh, breaking hexes and curses. And we're going to be doing voodoo hoodoo with Dr. Kirby. And Dr. Kirby is a professor. We're going to be doing that, that whole series. And me and Dr. Kirby are going to do it together. I just want you to look out for it when it comes, because ain't nobody really dealt with voodoo, hoodoo mm -hmm. on the black level, mm -hmm. on the level of who it is. So as Dr. Kirby comes forward, and as we teach it, where well, you can learn to know taboos and what's working for us and what's not working. Uh, I want to thank you on this Father's Day. Now, every day should be Father's Day. Every day should be Mother's Day. Every day should be a resurrection of something good, not bad. So my thing is, today is a day for you to start on your journey. What journey you need to go on, you need to start on that journey. And you start on that journey, it's going to blow up for you. If you start on that journey, it's going to break some milk for you. And I want to uh, pray for you, uh, Professor Cook, down in the state of Alabama. I want to let you know things are going to be all right. And uh, when I get a chance, I'm going to do a seminar down there. And all our people over in Grambling, I just want to say God bless you. Every telephone call, every letter. Don't forget to go to my website, dustseedamonwebsite.com. Go to our homepage or go to our special events. And we'll be this month or next month in South Dakota with Chief Izzy. We're going to do the Vision Quest. We're also going to do the Vision Quest and the Eager Dance. And we're going to be doing that. And Sister Bright Star. Up, up in Minnesota will also accompany us there and she's going to do a whole holistic healing body, mind, soul, and spirit and you that like to be involved I don't have a number at the minute but I'll give it to you where you can call me I will get that number to you where you can deal with Bright Star and I think Bright Star is the person that you need to deal with she do all the healing she do the stone healing and she do the colonics and uh, she's doing a good job. Most of her customers are Europeans, so the blacks have to catch up with this black woman that is talented. That's right. To let her do what she do, and that's very important. And Prophet Sue, down in Monroe, Louisiana, God bless you, Prophet Sue, I got your letter. I want you to know, when I get to Monroe, I'll be seeing you in Queen Hope and looking for a three-day miracle type of deliverance to bring people up to speed of what's going on. So every door will be open. 2016 is a year of information. 2017 is a year of action. So you need to gather all the data that you need because, like I said, uh, coming of the year, that every person need to arm themselves with first aid kit, they need to have a flashlight, they need to have medical supplies, they need to have a place where 
and if you got a home, you need a, a, a generator because the lights might be off because the whole grid is changing. Do you know that they can push a button and cut off all the lights and all because of hacking, going on Saturday, hack the CIA, how they hack the FBI? This is no accident. We're moving into a, a, a situation now where you can rely on your telephone, your computer, it can be hacked all. So it's very important for if right now in Chicago we have a storm or electric storm, it would take maybe three, four days to get up. So you need to have an emergency kit. You need to have flashlight, candles, medical stuff, canned good food, dry food, in a place where you can use it, so that that needs to take place now. We're gonna continue deal with black on black crime, and my thing is not only black life, all lives matter. Okay, we cannot get caught in them. If we saying black lives matter, how come so many blacks killing each other? The Klan ain't killing us. We killing each other. Chemical. Mississippi and Arkansas, all that. So we're being combated, killing each other because of witchcraft, chemical because infiltration, of, uh, psychological warfare, uh, evil spirits, biochem all that's happening to us right now. And can't nobody see it. Mm -hmm. We're so blind mm -hmm. to think it's just happening. Chemtrails falling. Mm -hmm. Every time the chemtrails fall that's in the city, one. it over that weekend. I noticed, and Dr. Richard told me, mm -hmm. I noticed on Friday the Kim Trails fall on on Saturday and Sunday, 50 people killed. People jump out of their car fighting people. People mm -hmm. in road break because that's the chemical that's being released up in the oven and it dripped down. Mm -hmm. Do you notice some of these fires is set, some of these forest fires is set by chemicals? When that aluminum mm -hmm. and all that medical stuff and then when the aluminum fall, it set by, we're gonna be dealing in a, we're gonna deal in a seminar on chemtrail. <clears throat> I'm gonna have Dr. Trimmer set it up. We'll do a seminar just on chemtrails alone. What what the chemicals Obama said when he got to be president, he's gonna cut it out. The mm -hmm. Prince talked about it. Uh, everybody talked about the chemtrails. Because after the Kim Trail hit the city, the whole city up for grabs. And if you notice, when you go out to the west, it's Kim Trail. But when you go out to South Dakota, you don't see no Kim Trail. But New York, Chicago, California, Las Vegas, all south, you see Kim Trail. And them Kim Trail have to drift down. If they shoot them today, they not, might not fall to Sunday, mm -hmm. and everybody mad at everybody, husband, fighting wife, wife fighting husband, dad, oh, that is because of the negative energy mm -hmm. that the chemtrails put out, and ain't nobody dealt with what's happening to our society. Now, metallurgy and perineology. And all of this stuff is stuff that's made up in life. I want to help you out. All the women got a Zika virus, and this new Virus with the little head. What they call the little head? Of? The Zika virus, and they talking about the um, the, look, the little head. Shrunken skull. Yeah. Shrunken skull. This is. That's voodoo. voodoo. But no, no. Let me tell you what it made. It's made in the laboratory. The mosquitoes have been released out in the wild. That's because they've been studying See, it. They, they have put them out. They said gorillas start a Zika virus. Well, where the gorillas come from? They ain't never had it. So one of the things growing that's uh, turning around. So that's something that's still happening. I'm going to tell you, as we do our research, we'll find out that the mosquitoes got the dairy, they got the death to kill people. It's because it's been made up in the laboratory and released. And we call them killer bees. Killer mosquitoes. They have been released to kill people, and that will happen. I want you to get ready for a breakthrough, get ready for a door my three, get ready to understand things ain't working, and do them. This is Bishop Clinton.
call me and get in contact with me. I want you to go know and son and form in the spirit of Dr. Martin Luther King, in the spirit of Malcolm X, in the spirit of Elijah Muhammad, in the spirit of Bishop Ford, uh, in the bishop in the in the spirit of Bishop Ben Ross, in the spirit of all our ancestors that come here in the ship came in like a horse, like a cow, came in shaka in the body ship in their spirit of our ancestors that we're asking for reparation for our young folk, where we can get about the business of saving the babies. Stop the killing, save the baby. We ask you for your support to come in to help us right away. And if you come in, it'll work for us. Get ready for a breakthrough, get ready for a healing, get ready for a delivery. And I want to tell you, whatever you need, God got what you want, God got what you need. I'm glad to be overlooking a lake down at the Ramada Hotel in Chicago to speak healing and deliver to you. And I want to let you know, there's no sorrow on earth for heaven cannot heal. I'm praying for you, you and you. Get ready for a breakthrough. Get ready for deliverance. Get ready for God to open up a great door for you and everything close open up. God will do what he needs to do for you. I just want you to let go and let God, for God can break a yoke for you, where every door closed will be opened up. I'm excited about what God going to do for you. I'm excited about things going to work for you quick, fast, and in hurry. When it work, every door going to open up. Happy Father's Day to you, Happy Mother's Day. Every holiday is a holiday for God. God bless you. This is my prayer. This is my favor. Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, I'm praying for you. Georgia, I'm praying for you. Tennessee, I'm praying for you. South Dakota, North Dakota, Nebraska, I'm praying for you. Up in Portland, Oregon, I'm praying for you. Over in Kenya, Africa, I'm praying for you. Over in London and Paris, I'm praying for you. Around the world, I'm praying for global healing. I'm praying for that, and that is my prayer, and that will work with you. And I just want you to get ready for this year to be a year of great success, and a year that a breakthrough for you and your family, and a year that you will receive the education and, and the understanding, and the understanding <coughs> that's going on in your life, and the breakthrough that God's going to do for you. And I just want you to stay focused for the young people. And when you stay focused, it will open up. Every, every letter, every telephone call, every expression of love, I want to thank you. Those that have walked with us down in Selma, those that walked in Marquette Park with us, those that walked down in Jackson, Mississippi, and those that are still fighting a good fight. It's a different fight. It's the fight that we have. There's no more civil rights. It's human rights. It's Amen. the right to live and on this planet, the right to grow on Amen. the planet. Amen. So I want you to move your mind from civil rights Amen. to human rights. That's right. Right to be a human. That's right. Right to live and move where you want. That's one of the most important things that we have to do in America. And once we do that, they will open every door. They will break every yoke. Uh, no. Get the door open up. So get ready for it to work for you. Mm -hmm. So we are. Uh,